Hey everybody! In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a HomePod stereo pair. I'll also be showing you how to connect them to all of your Apple devices, such as your iPhone or iPad, Apple Watch, Mac, and your Apple TV. Let's get to it! Creating a HomePod stereo pair is actually pretty user-friendly, but there are some things to keep in mind. Creating a HomePod stereo pair requires two of the same model of HomePod speakers. So you can pair two HomePod minis, two original HomePods, that's the first generation, or two HomePod 2's, second generation, speakers in the same room to create left and right channels for an immersive soundstage. You can create a stereo pair when you set up HomePod in the same room as another HomePod. One thing to note, when two HomePod speakers are in a stereo pair, only one responds to Siri requests, plays alarms, and acts as a speakerphone. First, Open the Home app on your iPhone or iPad. Remember to create a stereo pair. Both HomePod speakers need to be assigned to the same room. In the Home app, tap one of the HomePods you'd like to use in the stereo pair. Scroll down, then tap the Settings gear. Then tap Create Stereo Pair and select the two HomePods you'd like to use in the pair and tap Done. Then in the Audio Settings screen, choose which one you want to use for left and right. If you're not sure which is which, then you can tap on the HomePod and it will make a ping sound to let you know which one it is. If you need to switch them around, tap the arrows button in the middle. Once you have this set correctly, press the back button. Now they're set up as a stereo pair. Sending music or other audio to your new stereo pair is pretty simple from every Apple device. Just remember, you'll need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. On your iPhone or iPad, go to Control Center and tap the audio output or airplay icon in the upper right corner. Then tap and choose your HomePod stereo pair. You can also choose to play music or send audio out to other HomePods in the network as well for whole home audio. When playing audio on multiple HomePods, each one will have its own sub-volume control, with the now playing volume being the master control. You can also switch to your HomePods from your iPhone directly from Spotify by pressing the audio device button on the bottom left, then choosing AirPlay or Bluetooth. This brings up the same AirPlay menu as Control Center. In Apple Music, you can send music to your HomePod stereo pair using the audio output button at the bottom. This will access the same AirPlay menu that is available in Control Center. When playing music directly from your Apple Watch, you will not be able to send the music to your HomePods. However, using the Now Playing app, you can direct music playing from your iPhone to your HomePods using the AirPlay Audio Output button at the bottom left corner. To use the HomePod stereo pair directly from your Mac, select the sound icon in the menu bar, then choose your stereo pair in the output section. To use your stereo pair with your Apple TV as a one-off, you can go to the Apple TV Control Center, choose the AirPlay Audio Output, and select your HomePod stereo pair. However, if you'd like to make them your Apple TV's default speakers, go to Settings on your Apple TV, then go to Video and Audio. Then go down and choose Audio Output. On this screen, Arrow down and highlight your stereo pair and press select in the default audio output section. Also note, if you have a TV that supports ARC or eARC, you can also use them as your default TV speakers for any device you connect to your TV, such as a video game system or Blu-ray player. To set this up, just arrow down to the audio return channel section and select play television audio. The screen will go blank for a moment and then the option should be turned on. You'll also need to make sure the TV's ARC or eARC option is turned on as well. Most are automatic. If the option isn't on automatically, you'll need to consult your TV's manual or manufacturer's website about how to turn that on. I personally use this option with my original HomePod stereo pair, and it sounds great in my living room, using them as a soundbar replacement. They sound great watching Blu-rays with a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. See how easy it is to set up a HomePod stereo pair? Do you use your HomePods with your Apple TV as a soundbar replacement? Share your thoughts and any questions you may have in the comments below. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech videos, including tech how-tos. See you in the next one!